Welcome to Dance Tube. My name is Simone. Jamie asked me to come here to show you a few tips and tricks for this competition, the search for a cocktail stars. If you don't know what the competition is all about, just go on the website below. So as a professional bartender, you must have all these sets of tools. If you don't have it, it doesn't really matter. You can still enter the competition because I'm gonna show you now a few tricks and tips to make cocktails without this. Every bartender normally has a measuring jigger. Normally contains a size of one shot and two shots, double size. You don't have it, doesn't matter because I have a solution for you. You can use a head cup. You can use a small shot glass. Half of this is the same amount of this small one. A full shot is the same amount of a big one. You see, now I give you a solution. Here in drinks you, we always use transparent clear glass because you can see First of all, how much liquid you put and also the color of it. Boom! Now we are talking about my favorite tools, the shaker. Shake it! So this is called a three-piece shaker because it's simply made out of three pieces. Don't worry too much because you can use a Boston shaker, which is normally two-piece shaker. In drinks tube, you're using this kind of shaker because you can actually see what is happening inside when I built the cocktails for you. You don't have shakers? It doesn't matter because I have a Two solutions. Number one, a kilner jar. Put all the ingredients inside. Make sure it's sealed. Make sure it does have the rubber. Otherwise, you need to send your share to the laundry after two seconds. Next option, you can use a jam jar. Two things. First, you must eat all the jam and you always don't throw away the lid. So you can screw it in, you can use it as a shaker. Doing this, I'm gonna dissolve. Shake a bit like this. Guys, the next step is about ice. Using a big block of ice instead of your glass will give you much slower dilution. Your cocktail always tastes perfect, balanced, never gets watery. This is what we normally do at Artesian Bar, where I work. But if you're not professional, don't do it. There are other things you can do. You see? And from this piece, rubbing our, our warm hands to trim the corner. So, this is a professional way how to play with big block of ice, but if you are at home, I'm gonna show some other tricks how to really have fun with ice. I took some party celebration balloons. I feed them with water, I put them in the freezer. As I open it, I can have a beautiful spheric shape. Nice, elegant, and playful. Muffin tins, the molds for baking. We feed them with water, we have a nice, beautiful shape. We put it in a glass. What we can do, we can take a second one, put it upside down. Here you have three options to make a beautiful shape of ice for a classic cocktail that comes on the rocks. So imagine you have to make more a tropical cocktail with lime, like a capirosca, for example, which I have already here. I might need some crushed ice. I can show you how to make Beautiful, fantastic, the best. The best crushed ice you can ever have. Very simple. Step number one. Towel. And then we're going to throw ice in here. 15 ice cubes is good. And then wrap it up. So perhaps a rolling pin is the best. But not like this when you make the cake. You use like this. Smash it up. You slept with my wife. Fantastic. Crushed ice. If you think this is not enough. Now we have an amazing crushed ice. And this is how you want it to look like after it. So, let's wrap it up. There are so many tools you can use to enter the search of the cocktail stars. More information is written below. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, click here. One last thing. I want to see you entering the competition. I want to see you winning, performing. Good luck. I love you.